thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. In this video, I'll share how my kitchen went from dark and moody to bright and fresh. When I bought this apartment, the kitchen was nice, but not to my taste at all. Had I visited someone with this kitchen, I would definitely have said, ooh, nice. But for me personally, it's not what I want in the place that I both call my home and my workspace. My style preferences are bright and airy, which may not be on trend right now, where you see more muted colors like the green kitchen. But just because something is on trend doesn't mean that you need to go for that. To me, it's really important that my home reflects who I am and not the flavor of the moment. My initial thought was just to change the color of the cabinet doors and drawer fronts and perhaps switch the oven out. But when I noticed that the kitchen was so poorly assembled and flawed, and that the whole thing needed to be taken apart in order to fix it, I took the opportunity to make a few more changes while I had the chance. I did like the way the green kitchen had floating upper cabinets, but because the exhaust fan took up so much space in one of them, there wasn't a lot of storage. I would have been able to cope with a few usable uppers for my dishes and pantry items, but I really missed having a microwave oven. I knew I didn't want one sitting out on the counter, and I also didn't want one that was built in as a visible appliance. In order to fit a microwave inside a cabinet, I would have to buy a freestanding microwave oven and add another upper cabinet. Initially, I just ordered new cabinet doors and fronts from IKEA, plus another wide upper cabinet and thought that we'd move that and the existing ones around a bit. I'll share more in a minute, but first, speaking of shopping in store and online, I want to share why I'm a fan of Surfshark, the sponsor of this video. I use Surfshark to protect my online data. When I'm in stores with my phone in hand comparing prices on appliances and kitchen styles, and in the end making purchases, Surfshark keeps me safe when I surf on public Wi-Fi. The extra security I get when I access my bank account or other highly personal information on the go feels so good. With Surfshark One, you only need a single account that protects your privacy, secures your identity, and prevents tracking so companies, hackers, or bots can't track you online. With Surfshark Alert, which is included, you get notified about any personal information leaks that might be happening. Surfshark automatically blocks more than a million known malicious websites, phishing methods and other threats, so you can safely surf the internet both at home and away. Click the link in the description box, use my promo code beneath that to get an amazing 83% discount and 3 additional months for free. Also, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can safely sign up. So, with the new microwave purchased and the kitchen style chosen, my contractor, when he arrived, came up with a much better solution for the upper cabinets. He suggested mirroring the width of the base cabinets instead, which was a way better idea. It did mean having to return all the new cabinet doors and the new wide upper cabinet, and purchasing four new upper cabinets and doors, which felt like a bummer at the time, but in retrospect was the best move. For the base cabinets, I kept the bases and drawers, but instead of having only tall drawer fronts, I chose to have two short ones and a tall one for each section. That turned out more practical for me. I was able to sell everything I removed from the green kitchen, including the wide exhaust fan, the oven, and the original wide upper cabinets, so nothing went to waste, which felt really good. The whole process of taking the kitchen down and building it up again took about eight half or full workdays for the team. That included two carpenters, an electrician, a plumber, and a painter, who succeeded one another or worked in tandem during the process. For me, that was two weeks, including a weekend of compact living in half my apartment, doing dishes in the bathroom sink, and with Bonus and I walking around on covered up floors, with a fine layer of builder's dust just about everywhere. It was also worth it in the end, though. When we wake and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before sleep 
hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we well, you know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. The style I chose for this kitchen has the handles built in, so I didn't need to pick any of those. I love how easy it is to pull these drawers compared to the knobs I had. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. The future is bright Opening the cabinet like this instead of pushing also makes way more sense to me. Cleaning is also so much easier. Fingerprints stay within that handle groove and wiping it down is a breeze compared to having to work around knobs and that previously much larger fingerprinty area. I have a bright kitchen that both suits my needs, but also my style. I love how it's sort of just there, but doesn't take over the room like the green kitchen did, despite having an additional cabinet up top. I also love how bright it is. Those dark green cabinets really suck the light out of this space. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done.
While the electrician was at it, I also had him change the under cabinet lighting to Philips Hue, so when it gets darker again in fall, I have proper lights for there, that I can adjust the temperature of for filming. What I didn't change was the brass sink and tap. Side side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know. Had you asked me a year ago if I would have those and other brass elements in my home and even adding to them, I would have said no way. But sometimes it's the place you move into that tells you what's right for it, and in this apartment the brass just works so well. Another thing I wanted to keep and that we were able to salvage was the stone countertop. My contractor said he couldn't give me any guarantees regarding the stone, since it wasn't installed very well and hard to remove, but they did it and it survived luckily. I did have a plan B, but I'm so glad we didn't have to use it because I do love this stone. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know. As for appliances, I kept the fridge, freezer, dishwasher, and stove top, but switched the oven out to a white one that would blend in more with the white cabinets. That's crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I'm so happy with the end result of my finished kitchen and have had so much fun organizing everything. Let me know if you would like to see in more detail how it is organized and I'll make a separate video about that. Shout out to my contractor and the amazing tradespeople that were organized by him. The quality of their work is exceptional. If you're local to Stockholm and in need of a great team, I highly recommend these guys. So professional and nice to deal with. I'll put their contact info in the description box if you want to reach out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate the support. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be a lot more videos about decorating and getting organized in this apartment here in Stockholm. If you're looking for sources for things you might get lucky in the description box, there's a link that takes you to my website where I'm collecting all the sources I have for you. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hey